El Salvador's been living under a state of emergency for almost five months to tackle the country's rampant gang violence. This week, it was extended further. 50,000 people have so far been detained. That's just under 2% of the country's labor force. President Nayib Bukele calls them all terrorists. Under the emergency measures, those detainees haven't got the right to a lawyer or to be informed why they've been arrested. Human rights groups say that many are processed in mass hearings in which evidence isn't usually presented. Rina says her husband's among them. My husband was working and I didn't find out he was detained until 10 p.m. But a Congress dominated by the ruling party overwhelmingly voted for the measures to continue. The president of El Salvador and his government will do everything that is required to guarantee that these 50,000 gang members will be captured and the rest will not put a foot inside our communities. And why not? The state of exception is widely popular among an electorate exhausted and traumatized by decades of predatory gangs. An association of bus companies has said that extortion among its members has dropped by 95 percent. The president, the architect of the crackdown, regularly tweets that the country is seeing days of zero murders as a result of it. But at what price? Amnesty International says that dozens of people have died in custody. And under past crackdowns, the gangs have simply re-emerged again at the end. Para combatir estas organizaciones terroristas. The government bats away those concerns and lambasts its critics. It says it's at war and will win. John Holman, Al Jazeera.